Hi, welcome to the Awareness Shop. My name is Lisa Stewart, and over the past 17 years or so, we've been following a goddess named Caridwyn. She's a Celtic goddess, and she is amazing. Throughout our journey with her, we've collected many different statues made by many different artists, but none of them really seem to capture or express the energy that we saw or felt while working with her. We were lucky enough to find out that right here in New Paltz, New York, an amazing sculptor named Joe Lou Dowdy was doing his work. We approached him and asked if he would be up for it, and he said yes. So he is now working with us to create many different gods and goddesses in the Celtic pantheon. Of course, the first statue we would have to make would be our mother, Caridwen. And here is what we came up with this amazing depiction of Caridwen. Caridwen is a goddess, a mother, and a witch, and her story is amazing. Joe worked with us on every detail. How do you want her clothing to look? Which animals would you like to have portrayed with her? How will she be holding her hands? So as we worked together, Caridwen seemed to speak across the veil to us and tell us what she would like. She told us how she would like to hold her hands. She told us that she would like us to include the black crested hen from her mythology and her story, the tale of Taliesin. And she told us that we should have a white sow, for she takes on the guise of a white sow called a hook when she travels from the other world to ours. She's holding her hands in a triangle that could be seen as the Wiccan Triangle of Manifestation, something that you could use on your altar. Once you've invoked her, you could then ask her to charge items that you might have to do your magic with. For example, you might want to have something in the cauldron, like a candle or a special mixture of oils or a brew, and allow Caridwin to work that magic with you. Or you could certainly program or charge other items like amulets, talismans, or even crystals. They look great, and they would work great being charged with Caridwin's energy. If you'd like to know more about her mythology and her story, there's this wonderful book called From the Cauldron Born by Christopher Hughes, and she asked him to write this story. In here you can find out every detail of her story, her story as a mother, her story as a witch, and her story as a goddess. It also goes through the seven characters, that's right, I said seven, seven characters within her mythology. So certainly, if you want to find out more about the details of Caridwen and her story, From the Cauldron Born would be an excellent read. So now we'll go back to the statue and I'll point out some of the amazing details. First, I said that Caridwen was a Celtic goddess, and you'll notice that very fine Celtic knotwork adorns her beautiful garments. She is also wearing the awen on the front of her gown, and this is her connection to Taliesin, the radiant brow, the one who knows all that ever was, all that is, and all that shall be. The two animals depicted with her are the black crested hen, uh, which is Caridwin in the last guise that she takes through the chase. She becomes the black crested hen and ingests the seed that will later become Taliesin. And on the other side we have a white sow called a hook, which is how Caridwin comes to our world. And you'll notice that part of her story in another branch of the Mabinogi. So here we have her, the mother, the witch, and the goddess. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Lisa Stewart, and I've hoped that I've piqued your curiosity about our mother Caridwen. Blessed be.